he asked us to find the second derivative in terms of capital B. So when you take the second derivative of that, you can, um, you may want to distribute the one fifth. You don't have to. You could leave it in front. Um, but it, it's, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. The second derivative. The one fifth is a constant. Let me just distribute it. I'm just going to distribute it instead of trying to think through that. Okay, so that's uh, one fifth of, of 100 is 20 uh, minus one fifth b. So the derivative of that would be uh, negative one fifth. The difference here with respect to t. Oh, okay. I got it. <clears throat> the derivative of negative one fifth b is negative one fifth. The derivative of b with respect to t is db over dt. It's an implicit differentiation. Okay, the variable is b, but b is a variable. It's not a constant. B is a variable. So we're taking the derivative with respect to t. So we multiply by db over dt, uh, which is that original expression, one fifth times one hundred minus b. So the second derivative is negative one over twenty five times one hundred minus b. So that is the first part of that. Explain why the graph of B cannot resemble the following graph. So this is the graph of the original. We are looking at the second derivative. What does the second derivative tell us about the original? Concavity. Okay. The second derivative tells us about uh, the concavity of the original. Well, if we look at this graph, this graph changes concavity right here in the middle. It's concave up to begin with, and then it becomes concave down. So that must mean that um, this changes concavity somewhere on that interval. Well, there's no t in that equation. Okay, um, this is um, excuse me. Sorry. Uh, let's see here. Weight B is representing the weight of the bird, right? Yeah, B of T is the weight of the bird. Um, it was first 20 grams and then it grows from there. I'm trying to make sense of this. So 100 minus B is going to be positive, okay? Its weight, according to this graph, doesn't go above 100 grams. Okay, so this part is going to be positive. This is uh, negative. So that means the second derivative is always negative, which means the original is always concave down. Part of this graph is concave up. Okay, so your explanation should be that the second derivative um, is always negative. Therefore, <coughs> B of T is always concave down. But part of that graph is concave up. Okay, that one honestly is pretty unusual. I haven't really seen many questions like that um, before. And then C, they say you use separation of variables to find the original, the particular solution with the initial condition of uh, B of 0 equals 20. So if we do that, we start with DB over DT is equal to 1 fifth 100 minus B. So, 
we need to divide both sides by 100 minus B so that it's over here with the DB. And the DT needs to go over here to the other side. <coughs> so we've got 1 over 100 minus B, DB, is equal to 1 fifth DT. Let's see here. You get one point for separating your variables. Put your little integral symbol on there because you know that's where you're headed. All right, the antiderivative of 1 over 100 minus b with respect to b is the natural log of the absolute value of 100 minus b. And there's a negative because it was negative b. And the antiderivative of 1 fifth with respect to t is 1 fifth t. So you get one point for that right there. Well, if, I'm just skipping the U substitution. I'm just skipping the U substitution. Okay. Um, and don't forget your plus C, which I almost just did. Okay. And then um, they say that since the weight of the bird is always between 20 and 100, then kind of what I was saying a minute ago, that value, the 100 minus B, is always going to be positive, so you can drop the absolute value. Um, we need to plug in our initial condition. When B is 20, time is 0. So that means negative natural log of 80 is our... Uh, C, our constant of integration. So let's go back to our expression so that we can solve for uh, B. All right, so we need to write this. Oh, well, first of all, we need to move that negative over. Write it in exponential form. <clears throat> Doesn't matter which way you do it, you get 100 minus. Um, if you remember yesterday, what ended up happening there is we can um, split that up, so it ends up being. 80e to the negative 150, 100 minus that. Okay. So that's number three.